Welcome to A level and AP physics a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence in today's class We will talk about one complex DC circuit in this circuit We will compare brightness of identical lamps before and after closing the switch This is kind of typical question and very important question to understand complex DC circuits first of all, let's try to understand Understand what is given to us for this question if we read this question carefully it is given to us that there are three identical lamps L1 L2 and L3 they are connected to a battery and battery has no internal resistance what we need to find out simply we need to compare the brightness of lamps L1 and L2 when the switch S is closed means simply when we close this switch we need to compare the brightness of L1 and L2 are simply we can say we simply need to compare the power as we understand power means the P here is for power and the power is linked with brightness higher the power brighter the bulb and vice versa is also true if the power is greater brightness will be greater and if the power is lower brightness also will be lower let's try to answer this question now so the first thing what i will do is i will redraw this circuit so you can get clear picture let me redraw first of all as you can see here i have already redrawn these two circuits means these two circuits they are identical if you look at circuit one and the second circuit and third circuit they are identical circuit but just shape is different but circuit is the same as you can see the resistance is not given to us so we can simply assume that resistance of this lamp let's say is r so the resistance of this lamp and this lamp is also R. As you can see in question, it is given to you the lamp first lamp. This is L1. We can also say that this is L1 and this is L2 and this lamp is L3. And also we can write down here L1, this is L2 and this is L3. Theory. Now let's try to calculate total resistance of the circuit. Now we need to calculate total resistance. We can simply say our total. This is equal to resistance of L1 plus resistance of mean the total resistance of these two resistors. As you can see, these two resistors they are connected in parallel means these are two lamps so i simply said these are two resistors so it's the same thing a total resistance of these two lamps this is equal to r by 2 so simply we can write down here so the total resistance is equal to 3 by 2 r now let's try to calculate total current in the circuit so i total simply is equal to emf of this power supply let's say emf of this power supply is equal to e we can write down e divided by r total r total we have already calculated so we just need to divide emf by r total we can say this is 3 r by 2 r we can simplify and we can write down this is 2 e over 3 r so this is i total now let's say current coming from this power supply is i1 and at this point means at this junction current will split into two parts let's say i2 is passing through l2 and i3 is passing through l3 so we can say in this case i1 will be equal to i2 plus i3 but you also need to understand the total current is equal to i total so i total is equal to i1 now as these two lamps they have the same resistance uh, we can also say that i2 is equal to i3 so then we can simply say that i1 is equal to two times of i2 so these are the main points we need to understand and then we can calculate power of lamp one and we can also calculate power of lamp two let's try to calculate p1 first p1 means the power of lamp 
1. In order to calculate P1 means the power of lamp 1. So we can simply say P1 is equal to I1 squared times R. And I1 is equal to I total. So we can simply say that this is equal to 2E divided by 3R multiplied by R. If we simplify this one, we will get this is 4e squared divided by 9r. So this is value of p1. Now let's try to calculate what is value of p2 means the power 2 we can calculate as i2 this is equal to i1 by 2. So simply we can say i2 is equal to 2e divided by 6r. So this is value of i2. Now we can calculate value of p2. p2 will be simply equal to i2 squared times r. As we understand i2 is equal to 2e divided by 6r and square of this multiply by r. If we simplify this one, we will get this is equal to 4 e squared divided by 36 times r. So this is value of p2. So we have calculated p1 and we have also calculated p2. Now simply we need to compare these two values. First of all, let's try to calculate the ratio between p1 and p2 means p1 divided by p2 so if we divide p1 by p2 we can simply say that p1 is equal to 4 e squared divided by 9 r and it is multiplied by 36 r divided by 4 e squared so uh, this is 4 e squared simply we can cancel these two and r we can cancel with r and if we divide 36 by 9 we will get 4 so it simply means the ratio is equal to 4 r we can say that p1 is equal to 4 times of p2 we can also simply say p1 is greater than p2 so this one is simply telling us that lamp 1 is brighter than lamp 2. So lamp 1 is brighter than lamp 2. So it means this is the right answer. B is over answer. So how many times L1 is brighter? L1 is 4 times brighter than L2. Now let me explain to you how to answer this type of questions in your final exam. Let's say this question is on your final exam and you need to answer this question. But in exam you have only around 1.5 minutes for each question. Means 1.5 minutes for one question. So time is very limited so we need to be very quick to answer this type of questions. So if this question was on exam, so the simple way to answer this question is as current coming from battery let's say this is i1 and at this point this current will split into two parts i2 and i3 so we can also write down in this case i1 will be equal to i2 plus i3 and as these lamps are identical means they have the same resistance r2 is equal to r3 so we can say that i1 is equal to 2 times of i2 so simply you can say i1 is greater than i2 so r is the same r1 is equal to r2 so then simply you can say p is directly proportional to i square as we simply understand p is equal to i square times r so we will say p1 is greater than p2 so simply you can find your final answer. But if they ask you how many times lamp 1 is brighter than lamp 2, then you have to use formula. You will simply say P1 is equal to I1 squared times R and P2 is equal to I1 by 2 squared times R. Now if we solve this one P2, what we will get, we will get this is i1 square times r divided by 4. So this one is p2. p2 is equal to p1 by 4. So 
it means P1 is equal to 4 times of P2. So P1 is 4 times brighter than P2. So this is how you can answer in your exam. With enough practice, even you don't need to do any calculations and you can answer this type of questions. You just need practice. If your concepts are clear, these questions are just piece of cake. Mm -hmm.